Ben, good morning. It does appear this violence has rapidly worsened over the last few weeks between these two communities. Well, it's been going on for quite some time, Michael, but what happened tonight was that uh, a protest that Coptic Christians are holding in front of the, the main television, the state television building in Cairo, was broken up by riot police. Now, it's unclear what happened. I wasn't there. I was watching pictures on live television as, as, the, as it began. But uh, it, it obviously got very, very bad very, very quickly. Now, we, we saw uh, police and, and army vehicles on fire, but we also saw images of police and army vehicles driving through the crowd. Now, we came to this, uh, this hospital, this Coptic hospital, Coptic Christian hospital, uh, and in the morgue, I counted 17 dead bodies, and I won't go into details, but it's absolutely horrific trauma to those bodies. Uh, now, we were watching state television just before we came out here, and it was reporting that there were three security forces who'd been killed. Not a word about anyone who had been killed among the protesters. Now, as you say, there has been tension. I mean, this is a whole city and a whole country that has been simmering with tension for a long time. Uh, there was a protest by Coptic Christians about four days ago in Cairo, and it was it was relatively peaceful. Uh, it was broken up by police in the early hours of the morning, and there was you know, some violence then, but certainly absolutely nothing like this, and it is absolutely shattered the calm of Cairo. And it's fair to say that the Christians are arguing they're getting something of a raw deal under the, the regime that took over uh, after the ousting of Mubarak. Well, that, that's exactly their point. And, and as we say, I mean, this has been going on for some time. It's not necessarily Egyptian Muslims and Egyptian Christians. It's radical Islamist against Coptic Christians. And the Christians say that it's, uh, yeah, our churches are being burned, our people are being ta attacked uh, and, and kidnapped. And this has been going on for some time. What they say is that some of this is being incited by uh, the governor of the province of Aswan and that the military council, who have taken over and promised to keep the country safe as it moves towards elections, are not keeping that promise, that they're doing nothing to protect them, they're doing nothing about, uh, about that alleged incitement, and, uh, and they've been going to the streets. Now, the military council has been dealing with spot fire protests all over Cairo for, well, it's, it's been weeks. So this, uh, this anger has been building the uncertainty as the country says, well, we had our revolution, now where are our elections? And, uh, you know, everyone from bus drivers to air traffic controllers to doctors and has been protesting. But, as I say, this, there has not been anything like this. As I say, 17 dead here, uh, and as we understand, some security forces uh, have been killed as well. Uh, this is a very dangerous situation here. Okay, bad night in Cairo. I really appreciate you for updating us on that situation. Stay safe. Thank you. <laughs>